All right, this is Horden. Um, I went ahead and, and ran him through. I've got him some uh, defense. I mean, offensive gear and HP gear mostly. And uh, I was kind of underwhelmed. I didn't gear him up high because a lot of people aren't going to have this gear, so I didn't want to overdo him. I did get him to level 50, and I've got him maxed out on stars, and then I ran him through. First thing I did is we'll go ahead and take a look at his uh, skills before we go too much further. He has a okay A1. He hits two times, and then if he kills a target, he gets another turn. This could help you in Fire Knight because it's a two-turn, but it's not going to help you... Probably it'll help you in the beginning of Fire Night and then, but not so much in mid game and the end game. So, also, he has a uh, decrease attack. That's a very, a 50% decrease attack, that's a very good skill to have. He'll attack one enemy. This is a good one for Clan Boss. But it's on a four-turn cooldown, and it only lasts for two turns. And even if you did Masteries, the best you could do is get lucky every, for 30% of the time, getting it on a three-turn cooldown. So you're going to have a couple of turns that it doesn't go. So it's, it's a good skill, but it's not done well. They need to fix it where it can be continuously on a, on a character for this character to be really good. You have so many other epics out there that are good, you, and there's also some uh, rares out there that are better than that. This skill right here would be fantastic if it went to every character instead of just him. He's the only one that benefits from it, so that just kind of like takes this and blows it out the window. He does get another turn when it goes off, but you you have to book it to get it to five turns. So it's an okay skill, but it's not overwhelming. Okay, the first thing that I did with him is I ran him in uh, Faction Crips. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what happened here. This is stage 13. So, I mean, it's middle, middle, but it's high mid, mid, mid game. And I ran him through and he really didn't have overwhelming skills here, but it's probably the way that I have him geared. Plus, uh, he's really kind of underwhelming. My two, uh, Two legendaries there on the corner, Septimus and Satelia, they did a lot better. They're what kept him alive and and actually got us through 13. We've already lost one, so I mean he's okay, but he's not. He's kind of underwhelming here as well. So he's gonna go on. We'll go on into round two, and he'll make it through round two, but he'll end up dying in round three. The only two that will be alive at the end are Septimus, my two legendaries, basically. So, I was not overdone there. I went into uh, Ice Golem Stage 9 because this is a uh, stage where he, he has a strong affinity. He's got magic, and it's against a spirit affinity, so we ran through it, and I used nothing but characters that you can get for free. And everybody here is uh, 50, level 50. And the one that impressed me the most actually is Executioner. Executioner to me is a much better champion than... Uh... But you can see as he killed everybody, he kept going. So that does... I mean, that came in handy right there and got you there. We ended up finishing it. And uh, I think... The Shaman was the only one that died, and that's because of weak affinity. And remember, this is only stage 9, so you're going to get a 4 and 5 star gear. So this is, he did okay early. This is probably early mid game right here. 
I would say, early mid game. Because you can get five star gear and it can help you out a little bit. And he did okay here. And they go on and we end up winning. And like I said, I think Shaman's the only one that dies. But these are all characters that you can farm. Except for Shaman. Shaman you'll get for free in your first week. But you can farm everybody else. And then if you look here, I did the same thing. But this time I used all blues. And this right here is the dragon. And, well, well, I didn't use all blues. I take that back. I have one green. But we ended up dying here. This is stage 11. And it wasn't nearly as good as I hoped for. Even though that I have four blues. Everybody here ends up dying, so... And this is only stage 11. So I wasn't very good on it. There you have Horden again. And then here, here's what I did. This is, I kind of rated him. I gave him on beginning game, I gave him a seven on Ice Golem. I gave him a five in Dragon. Spiders, I gave him a three because he's not... What his skill set does isn't really good for spiders. He doesn't have decreased turn meter. He doesn't have an AOE. And basically, he's just really weak in spiders. And then Fire Knight, I gave him a 6 because he does have a uh, 2 hit skill 1, which whenever you get to the Fire Knight, if you have 2 or more, it'll help you get his shield down. And then on Clan Boss, I gave him a 7 beginning game just because he has the attack down. So I gave him a 7 for beginning game. And then in Faction Crips, beginning game, I gave him a 7 for overall beginning game of 5.8. So that's really not overwhelming. He's not somebody that I would focus on. I would focus on your free-to-play. Mid game, he was even worse. I skull him, I gave him a 5. Dragon of four because I mean he's he gets wiped out pretty quick, and then spiders he's he's not a good spider character at all. Fire Knight he has he does hit twice, but there's other people out there that do a much better job. And then Clan Boss his attack down skills just not enough. I mean you have Terrell out there who's also an epic that does attack down on his A one. So, I mean, you could just keep that up the whole time while you're fighting the clown boss. So, it's not really that great there. So, and then, and then in Faction Crypt, whenever you get to mid game, he gets killed off way too easy. But overall, that's my uh, opinion on a uh, Horden. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I probably won't read them, but I. Or it may take me a while to get to him because I'm not uh, so active. I, this is not my life. But, hey, that's my opinion on Horton. Uh, I'm, very, I'm not very impressed for him to have to be sold for 50 bucks not that long ago. <laughs> to me, that was kind of...